So I've gone ahead and added the walls and built them up, added a little bit of detail to everything, and now the map looks uh, playable. Uh, I could obviously have a lot more details. Uh, I just got giant objects for for most of the uh, assets that I want in this in the in the map. They're just big blocks like this. I've added materials because I think they look nice when um, when without all the details of models, when everything's just a part, it's uh, pretty pretty simple, straightforward. I like that. So the boxes, big giant wood <laughs> boxes. If I want to detail it. I could turn this, these giant boxes into uh, clumps of boxes. You can see I've detailed at least uh, the windows, M maybe more detail than I needed, but it does help out. It does help uh, the frame. It points out that this is a window, um, so that's that's kind of necessary. Uh, one unnecessary detail that I started going into just because I got carried away was I made a little fridge in this uh, kitchen area. It looks like. I'm not quite sure what I want this place to be. It's kind of an office, but there aren't really desks yet. So, um, since our game is more playful, um, you don't need to be as rational when building the map um, about like what the what the map actually is, which is kind of nice. Uh, this could be a closet. Maybe if I had some doors, this could be like a an office. I'm not I'm not sure yet. Um, it'll probably stay like this though. I'm I'm liking how it feels. If anything, I'll probably cut off a room. Maybe that room over there. Um, but I have, I have, when I was adding all the walls and details, um, I did resize and reshape a lot of small things. I may have moved apart from here and rotated that one. Um, this desk was in the design. None of these were in the design. Um, I just threw them in to help, uh, fill up empty space. Um, but also add, uh, another, another angle to the game. Um, I'm sure it's not, it's not a big major thing, but it makes the game feel more full uh, when players have things that they can jump onto uh, and not necessarily run around on this flat plane. It would be nice as well to have um, maybe some rooms that are slightly elevated just so you have stairs that go up and down it. Um, those those make a map feel really nice. Um, but right now it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. One thing you should definitely note is that I added specific details to a lot of the rooms so that they're easy to discriminate from each other. This makes a map a lot more easy to comprehend when you're playing the game. So you can see this main room. Uh, for one, it's big. Uh, it's the only room with a rotated object in it. It's also the only room with the wooden, this color of wooden boxes. And it has the windows. This one's probably the easiest to uh, discriminate, to acknowledge, to notice. Um, this one's pretty easy. I added a wood floor. So you know, uh, like if you're talking with your friend while playing the game, uh, you can easily say the wood room, the floor with the wood, uh, the the room with the wood floor, um, and this is the uh, brick floor room. That's the easiest way to make them uh, distinguishable is changing just the texture of the walls and the floor. So I did that. Put some marble here. So this is this could be considered the room with the kitchen. <laughs> um, it's it's quicker and easier for people to comprehend the map when you add these uh, unique details to every room. So I've, I've gone ahead and done that. I'm not sure what I want to do for the roof yet. I'm thinking that I'll add an invisible part over the entire top of the level. That way you can kinda... when players that are spectating, players that have gone blocks already, could look into the map and uh, you know kinda spectate and watch. I think that's pretty cool. but. I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I will put a roof on it. And uh, so that's that's the map update for what I've got going. I've also, like I said, changed the scale of a lot of things and moved some small, unique things around, uh, just to tighten it up and uh, make it feel more fit. I did a lot of play solos to test how it feels. Um, so every time I test, I'd find a few things, write them down on a sticky note, and you know, attend to them, fix them. Small things like that box is too close to the wall, um, too much visibility between three rooms. These these three rooms, their their doorways were all connecting, so I kind of moved one doorway over. Because um, I used to, I walked around through here and up to here, and I was able to see all the way through. So I changed that. That's pretty nice. And these things are fun to jump on. And 
I, I tested out all the windows to see what they could see. Of course, you can do this in um, in edit mode, um, but you get a real understanding when you're actually walking around as a character. And if I had more time, I would uh, actually remake the map just to take uh, just to move the walls, the make the rooms smaller, move the walls in, because I do feel it is a little bit too roomy, too spacey. Um, we might be able to change the game mechanics so that it works better. We'll see. Uh, maybe the blockster will be able to move faster. But yep, that is the that is the update for the map. I've also changed the grass color just to make it feel more fun and energetic. Before it was this uh, dull color right here. Um, you might be saying to me, uh, but but Luke, you don't even see the grass outside. Um, you should never. You should never let that stop you. Uh, maybe we will add windows, but more importantly, as a designer, it gives me a better feel of the map uh, when I know. Like it, it makes me think in brighter colors when at least even some that players don't see, it, I see it uh, when I'm designing and building and creating, and it helps keep my mind in the game that I'm creating. That's why I also vote against making maps a solid color before uh, detailing them. Um, it gives you a bad impression of what you're creating. Like if you make a map that's like just orange with grid lines, or if you make a map that's solid gray, um, and then you go through and color it, it's really uh, you can you can easily find out that you want to change stuff up later, and it's not as easy as if you had tested with colors while while creating the level. And again, yeah, that's the updated map. Be sure to check out our next lesson in the series. I'm Sigmaster Luke, signing off, and remember, you make the game.